Hi again. Welcome to TYB ACIT Teach Me Linux series. My name is Zeel and today's topic for discussion is init process, RC scripts and enabling and disabling services. Now, I had to take a week long break for recording this lecture because I was having fever and bad throat. Also, um not recording the webcam because there are some audio video sync issue with the software so with this let's start our lecture so last time we were discussing about bootloaders we had looked into master boot record grub and also the kernel now after grub executes and loads the kernel into memory kernel decompresses itself and starts executing once it executes all the kernel level programs like ones related to file management memory management later the first thing it executes for user level programs is the init process now the main function of the init process is to load all the programs which has been defined in a particular run level now we will be discussing about run level in the next slide so let's go to the next slide when an operating system starts it can either go in one of the seven run levels in total there are seven run levels in linux which is from 0 to 6 So let's consider a scenario where your operating system will go into a run level of 3. So when it goes into run level of 3, it will see the processes associated with run level 3 and it will load the processes which are mentioned in this run level. Similarly, suppose if your operating system goes into run level 5, it will see the processes associated with run level 5 and load the processes now it is important to know operating system can go into either one of the run levels at an instant of time so if i go into run level of 3 simultaneously i cannot go into run level of 5 so if i want to shift from run level of 3 to 5 i have to close the run level 3 or i have to shift from run level 3 so suppose if i go into run level 5 what your operating system will do is it will select the processes which are associated with run level 5 and it will see the flags associated with those processes now there are two flags one is k and one is s k stands for kill s stands for start so before process is there is always a flag associated with it so let's consider a scenario where process 1 2 and 3 has s flag process 4 and 5 have k flag so when your operating system starts and it goes into run level 5 it will see process 1 an associated flag is s s means start so it will start process 1 the second process is process 2 it also has s flags associated so it will start process 2 similarly it will start process 3 now in process 4 it sees that it has a k flag associated k means kill so it will kill process 4 and also it will kill process 5 so here you can see there are three processes started and two processes killed now how will your system decide which one of the run levels it wants to go into the answer is init the init is a first user space program which your kernel executes and the main function of init is to select one run level which your operating system should boot into by default so for this init consults a configuration file
called init tab init tab has a configuration which says which run level should be the default run level so we'll look into this in a bit more detail in our practical session so in linux we have run level 0 which is associated with shutdown of the system so in run level 0 you can find or you will find all the processes associated with k flag which means kill and only one process is associated with s and that is halt halt is a command which is used to shut down the system and that is the only thing associated with a s flag so with this let's go into a practical session where we can look into this into much more detail and i think my battery is also over so i'll pause this video for few minutes and we'll continue directly into a practical session so i think जब तक बैटरी सेवन परसेंट तक नहीं जाती तब तक हम लोग आराम से बैठे रहते हैं आफ्टर द बैटरी रीचेज सेवन परसेंट वी रन ऑल अराउंड द प्लेस टू फाइंड आर चार्जर सो एनी वेज दिस इज माई सेंट ऑस मशीन एंड विल लुक इन टू रन लेवल्स सो डू यू रिमेंबर वे ऑल द कॉन्फिग्रेशन फाइल्स आर केप्ट वेल येस इट्स ई टी सी so let's go into etc and we'll move into rc.d folder rc.d consists of configuration related to run levels and init process so let's explore etc init tab first so here you can see there are seven run levels the first is run level zero which means halt or shutdown of system the run level one is associated with single user mode which is generally used for recovery run level two is multi user without nfs we'll be looking into nfs into later chapters run level three is full multi user mode where you cannot have a uh, graphics basically so here i can see i have all these graphics and genome or x11 screen in run level 3 you do not have all these you just have a black command prompt run level 4 is not used run level 5 is x11 which is all my graphics so you can see my desktop over here so this is generally run level 5 run level 6 is reboot basically run level 3 and run level 5 is almost the same except in run level 3 you do not have these graphics stuff so the last line associated it says a number 5 so this is what your init process looks into whenever your init process starts it goes into this file of etc init tab and it will see this line which says 5 5 means go into run level 5 by default so whenever your operating system starts it go into it goes into a run level 5 and as run level 5 is associated with all your login screens graphic stuff i can see all my desktop and things let's go back and let's explore the first run level which is rc0.d now we have already discussed that rc0.d or run level 0 means shut down so let's explore this so these are all the processes or demons i would say and all of these are associated with k flag k means kill except one one means one is halt halt is associated with start flag so what happens if I go into run level 0 when I go into run level 0 the kernel will start from the first process 
with the number associated like 0 1 then it goes to 0 2 then it goes to 0 5 after that it sees the flag associated with those processes so it sees there is a k flag associated with smart d daemon so it will kill this daemon similarly it goes into 2 it will kill 2 and so on until it reaches 99 so here it will kill all of these daemons after that you can see a 0 0 means kill all kill all basically means that kill all the daemons associated and after kill all the next command executes is halt halt is basically used to shut down your system so here you can see there are only two s and all are k let's go into previous directory and let's explore run level 3 so you can find the daemon are common for all however the flags associated with daemon changes with respect to run level so in rc0.d we found that almost all were associated with k flag however in rc3.d there are many daemons or processes which you can see are associated with s flag s means start so here you can see postfix postfix is your mta which is used for mailing you have snmp your snmp protocol you have your rsyslog your syslog daemon you have ssh service which is running so because it's associated with s flag let's come out of this and uh, let's go into rc5.d rc5.d is almost same as rc3.d except rc3.d does not have a graphical interface like rc5 how can you know which run level you are currently into now there are really two ways to look into it you can either do a go into init tab configuration file and see your run level here it says your run level is 5 the second option is you can type run level and it will say that you are into run level 5 now let's experiment some stuff as I said run level 3 does not have a graphical user interface so let's try and go into run level 3 so in order to go into run level 3 I will type in it 3 and let's see what happens so as we can see it has killed the processes associated with the graphics in run level 5 and let's log in and 3 all you can see is a black screen right you do not have any graphics associated with it so this run level is only used in the server environment where you do not need graphic however if you are using linux as a desktop environment you generally use run level 5 so in order to go into run level 5 i'll type in it 5 and let's press enter and here i am again into run level 5 so i hope you figured out the difference between run levels now as i said run level 3 does not have graphics run level 5 has graphics run level 0 is associated with halt we'll do that at last but before this let's 
do a grep on init process so as we had discussed earlier init is the first user space program which your kernel loads after init gets load it looks into the init tab configuration file and finds a number associated with a run level after it finds the number it goes into the associated run level and it starts all the programs associated with it so let's do grep init so you can see the process id of init is always 1 because it is the first thing which your kernel starts for your user space so let's again once clear how exactly it works so let's go into etc rc.d so whenever init starts it goes into init tab it finds a run level which is by default here we can see as 5 now here you can see there is a directory associated with 5 which is rc5.d so init goes into rc5.d it finds all the daemons here it kills the daemons associated with the k flag it starts the processes or the daemons associated with the s which is the start flag and then you can see your login screen so i guess this is enough for your run levels the very last topic is enabling and disabling services so how would i enable a service in a very simple term you can use either of the two option so this is my apache service which is httpd daemon so in order to stop this i can type service httpd stop and it will stop the httpd daemon in order to start you can type service httpd start and it will start the httpd daemon the second way is check config so check config basically it will show you the detailed output so here you can see this is a httpd daemon and this number 0 to 6 are run levels so here we can see in run level 0 httpd daemon is not on which is off state and 1 it's off 2 is off 3 4 and 5 it's on so if my system boots into 3 4 and 5 my httpd daemon will start however for 0 1 2 and 6 it will not start so the very last thing which we are left to do is to go into run level 0 0 is halt so let's do init 0 now this will shut down my system and with this will conclude this session for today's lecture so i'll press enter and let's see what happens so it's stopping all my demons as you can see on the screen stopping cups httpd etc it's sending term signal kill signal and finally halt which is shut down so with this I'll end this session. If you have any doubts, feedback, please contact us. We will be uploading the notes associated with this lecture on our website. Thank you very much for watching.